Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alex Gonzalez and myself, Jay Yi, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now, let's talk about some earbuds. Um, oh, yeah. This is exciting for me. I wear them all the time. Same. So much so, my phone warns me. It says, hey, buddy, we need to turn down your volume because you're wearing too many earbuds. Uh, oh, my phone doesn't tell me that. But may- do you have AirPods? Yes. Yeah, so it's probably like smart talking with your AirPods and stuff. I wish my AirPods still worked, uh, but the charging case just stopped working. And they're like, well, to get a new one, it's 89 bucks. AirPods, the AirPod Pros, the ones I have, 130 bucks. Why would I pay 80 bucks if I could just pay a few more bucks and just get brand new AirPods? You know? Yo, yeah, no, definitely. AirPods are so good, you could get murdered straight up walking down the street and not even know it. Oh, the AirPod Pros noise canceling is really strong. Yeah, you can't hear anything with those things on. Also, a side note, this is not what we're talking about, but side note, do you feel like that noise canceling sometimes is so loud? It's not like I can feel I can feel it on my eardrums. So the problem with air earbuds and I think uh, this product would actually help with that is eventually and I'm sure you get this too. Once you have them on for too long, your ear drums just pressure and pain and just Mm -hmm. it just uh, feels like you have earwax all up in there. Um, And sometimes you do. I think it does end up building up more earwax eventually just having trapped air in in there like that. Yeah. because I do notice it's like more like wet earwax because I usually have the chunkier earwax um, naturally. Absolutely. Also, don't wear AirPods fresh out of the shower. Bad idea. Not only because like you don't want your AirPods getting wet. Yeah. The ears don't get dry. Yeah. I it's don't, nasty. I don't use headphones around the house too often. Usually, especially when I'm showering, I just play right off my phone. And then while I'm like drying off and getting changed and getting ready and stuff. Um I, I'm just playing right off of my phone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, I'm probably not going to get AirPods again just because they are kind of pricier. And th- the only convenience of AirPods, in my opinion, is how well they connect to your devices. You don't really have to think about it. You don't have to press any buttons. You don't have to press and hold or nothing like that. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I get much better quality for the same price uh, in terms of headphones. So, like, I'm going to give Raycon's gaming earbuds a try once I have the hundred bucks to spend on that. Um, I'm also going to invest in some dual sense headphones because my PlayStation five platinum headset is just going to shit. Uh, so I, I have to spend a lot of money. So wait, on headphones. I have, I, um, I got to expense my dual sense headphones for work. But I got them because I want 3D audio and I use headphones so much so as not to disturb anybody because I have like a partner that goes to school. But PlayStation 5 Platinum sounds like a much better headphone. They're very expensive headset. Uh, It's like uh, I think I pay 300 bucks for them. Um, They're the ones I'm wearing right now. These ones right here. Um, Oh, so yeah, they're, they're very nice, super expensive. They do have 3D audio in them, but they don't work on the PS5 unless I plug it into the DualSense. Uh, Which but, is annoying. I don't, your dogs are older, but I have a small wiener and he just gets tangled. Mm. And then once he gets tangled enough, he also starts biting it. For me, I've That's, gotten used to just walking around the house, like filling water with my headset on. And so sometimes if I have it plugged into my dual sense, I'll just start walking and then my dual sense will tumble behind me. Uh, and I'm like, such a loud crash. That's a ninety dollar controller. I I don't want it anything to break in there. You know. Yeah. Um, no. Definitely. Because like sometimes you hit it. Do you ever hit the bottom of your dual sense and it the whole thing vibrates because of whatever tech is in there, like stuff for like vibrating all the time, like the hydraulics for the 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 haptic feedback and stuff. I no, just feel like it's that fragile. Hasn't happened. Yeah, it just feels. I, just take your dual sense and just kind of tap it on your hand. You'll feel what I mean. There's like a vibration to it, and it makes it feel super fragile. Um, but all this being said, earbuds. Let's revolutionize earbuds and how it works. Uh, p- particularly, this is going to involve minor surgical uh, <laughs> procedures. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you slipped that in there. Minor surgical procedures. So when you buy these, it's going to be um, 
you're gonna you have to go get them installed. Yeah, so you go to the 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 headphone surgeon guy. <laughs> it, it'll probably I don't know how, I don't know how that would actually have to work, but yeah, you go you go. We need some fucking brand loyalty first off. You go over and they they essentially inside your ear. My idea is they cut like a little slit there, right? And uh-huh. then they just insert this little speaker and they insert it in both ears and uh-huh. then um attached to those not attached to those but one of them i think will have like i want to say kind of like a little line or something and maybe it goes down to like your earlobe or something like right on the lobe maybe you could ask them to like stretch it down a little bit further and put it on your neck or like right behind your ear if you have earrings or whatever and it'll just be like a small like you know, like those like skin tape things that you could you can't see unless you really look and it's like waterproof, or whatever, and it just sticks it right back behind your ear like that. Right. And the uh-huh. whole idea is that they're Bluetooth. Uh, speakers, essentially, and they connect to whatever Bluetooth device you want and they have a microphone and a speaker in it. So you, you could listen to music and talk phone calls and whatever without actually putting anything into your ears and covering your ears. And so like you could still hear the outside world, but you could also hear the music playing. So it's kind of like having those like headphones that like play music out. So you just wear it around your neck, but like, it's not going to be so loud where other people could hear the music coming out of your ears. Uh, It's like, I think they, they're they probably going to be shaped in a way so they're pushing the sound inside your eardrum so there won't be any, like, bleeding of sound to the outside world. Um, unless you're playing music really loudly, maybe, like, if it's quiet, people could hear the music coming out of your head. But mm-hmm. I feel like uh, it's it's mainly going to be able to he- be hear, heard from inside your head. And I also don't think it has to be that loud because I feel like if we, they're in the eardrum far enough, um, not eardrum, but ear canal far enough, it's just you're you're just gonna hear it because it's just in your ear. You know what I mean? Not so much like being played from an outside uh, device. Um, the reason for the button is, let's say you want to skip songs or you want to answer a phone call or something like that. That's what the button's there for. Or also like activate Siri and stuff like that. So that's what the button's there for. What do you think? I have a lot of thoughts about this. First off, we're going to have to make the technology and the Bluetooth super ironclad. Oh yeah. Because all... All that somebody needs to do is hack it and play a super loud sound or remove the limiter and you're just deaf. Mm, mm. That is true. That is true. What would be really cool is um, if you can connect with other people and then like you hear, you know, each other's heartbeat or, you know, there's certain things that you can do with that where. um, Like the novelty stuff. Yeah. Or you call each other and then, you, you, you know you can go and do it that route where I don't even think you'd have to talk that loud. Right. No, because, because if it's in your ear. Yeah. It would just pick up from the vibrations of your speaking instead of right. um, your voice. So, it's going to be more vibrations. Right. So you could even talk more of a, like a whisper or a mutter. Yeah. Like a crazy person. And someone's going to pick up on that and be able to hear it. Exactly. Uh, another thing that I thought was kind of cool about this is you can sell it. It's not as extreme of an idea as someone would think. It is going to be fringe, but people split their tongues. People pierce themselves. People um, slice different parts of their body. I think this we can swing as being a good alteration, more like a commercial use for a hearing aid made sleeker and better. And I think another thing that would be great would be a safety measure where if you're at a concert or you're somewhere where the hearing, where you can have hearing loss, it'll dampen it for you so you can enjoy the music without taking hearing loss. How does it dampen outside noises, though? Like, how would that work? How to dampen outside noises? It'll play noises to compete with outside noises. 
Wouldn't that make your hearing worse, though, if it, like, just blasts some other loud noise in your ear? I don't don't fucking, you know, or how about, what if it does it in a way that you don't hear it? So instead, it makes the, um, it blasts the outside noise outside of your ear, but not inside. Is that possible? Can you do that? I don't think so. No, I don't think that's how sound waves work. No, right? Because sound waves go both ways. Yeah. So you'd have to, um. You have to uh, somehow, I guess. No, you're you're just stuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not I, gonna because it's just a speaker. I I don't think it could damage. Yeah, just get some fucking earplugs. Yeah. Um. What I also think about it is it'll be easily like interchangeable. So every two years or every year when we come out with a new model or like a updated version, if you want. Just go in and then just, you know, switch it out real quick um, and get the newer one installed so it gets better Bluetooth, uh, better sound quality, better mic quality, what, whatever it is. Um, you just go in, they'll reopen that little cut that they made, pull it out with the little tweezers and put a new one in there and just replace and it super quick. Another interesting... Um aspect of this that you know you you don't think of is so what materials is it going to be made out of because now as a semi-seasoned traveler myself you're not going to rip this shit out at tsa or what are you going to have to have tsa pre tsa clear that is true that is true yeah i guess it would have to be made out of like probably like silicone right or like uh, right yeah something like that it also it has to like work with your body like it can't just be some random material that you put into the human skin and hope that <laughs> we don't just... need it to reject yeah. yeah yeah so i think silicone i mean that's what they use for plastic surgery most of the time anyway right so that yeah they use silicone or something like that and yeah. and that's when we'll have to have different colors based off of um just people you know yeah. people's skin and unless we have a silicone that we can dye some of skin color we can kind of they have that now right where we like let's say we both go in and it takes a sample of our skin color like it takes the rgb and then we can use that in a machine to create the silicone same skin color yeah yeah i don't see why not maybe even some people want crazy colors maybe they want the line that comes out behind throughout their ear is like a, like a green or like a neon yep. or like some glowy thing to make them look a little bit more futuristic or whatever. And in terms of microchipping and all that, not microchipping, but you know what I mean? Like the microchips inside of it, it's not like tiny little electronics and circuitry will put off metal detectors, right? Like that's not a thing. Like I, I walk through metal detectors with, well, I guess I don't with my Apple watch. I think I take off my Apple watch too. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. I feel like little circuitry probably wouldn't hurt it they, too bad. I'm telling you, I maybe not, but they made me go straight up back into the line and put my fucking AirPods in its own bin and send it through. Yeah, they do that now. You have to put things in their own bin now. It's it's kind of annoying. Um, it, yeah, and your switch too, unless you have TAC, yeah. T, T, did I say THC, TSA clear, T, T, TCA pre or whatever, TSA, whatever. Best case scenario is I think these things, this invention just becomes the new norm of how people just have earbuds in and maybe it becomes like a, by the way, I have these headphones that I can't take out. Um, (laughs) Like just everyone has them. So like they just make them okay or whatever. Yeah. Where it becomes like the standard. Um, What's that random number you sent me? Oh, so my cat, I don't know if you've noticed, has just been walking on the desk because um, this is a small aside. So there's these little gummies. You see them? There's a duck and there's a horse. And then um, it saw them and thought that they were little creatures that it could eat. So I had to like take them off of the computer and then offer it and show the cat that they're inedible (laughs) or unedible so that it could like stop. Gotcha. Gotcha. But uh, yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking here, do you want these to have, like, I always think about the gimmicks, like the spy technology where it can record what you hear and play it back. 
like the last five or 10 or 20 minutes if you want to. <laughs> That's going to be super toxic. No, I'm telling you what you said was blah, 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 blah. I mean, and don't try to tell me any other way. I have it right here. Sure. I, I It could be a feature, but like that, you wouldn't be able to do it from your little neck thing. So you'd have to take out your phone to like start a voice memo or whatever. Um, and it will just pick up that as your microphone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Would Would there be any buttons that you would use for features or is it completely all Bluetooth? Like, would you have any clicks? Yeah, I think the the button that they attach to the behind your ear, it would just be like one touch, one button thing. So double click for the next song, triple kick for a previous song, press and hold for voice assistance like Siri or uh, whatever Androids okay. use. Um, and then what else is there? There's also like click, double click and hold, which also sometimes does things um, on Bluetooth headphones. So it would just be like multi-click stuff. And yeah, like I said, it would just be like that skin tape that goes outside your ear now on one side because these two will be paired together and then the other one will go out and like be like that. Uh, the one thing I do find problematic with it is charging. My idea, I was going to go on to that. That's exactly what I was going to talk about. My idea for charging, and this is kind of, I mean, this is just what we're going to have to do until we they have better tech out there. Maybe eventually you could do wireless charging, <laughs> but you're essentially going to have these over the ear, uh, headphones, right? It'll uh -huh. be more like, it'll be more like a headband. <laughs> and then uh -huh. it's going to have these, th these little pointer sticky things with like a little tappies at the end. And you stick those in your ear <laughs> with the tap on top. Right. And then it's going to have a line off of it. And you put that into the USB thing and just charges like that. You just stick these things inside your ears. I'd, I'd almost rather that it uses my bloodstream. Like like as the blood kind of passes <laughs> the through the head. out of it or something. Yeah. Or like the heat as it passes through, it uses that to keep it going. Or I or don't know what. electricity from your brain or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, as you're sitting there, like, dude, what are you wearing? My earbuds are dead. My, I need I to do this to for the next them. two and a half hours. Yeah. And that's the only way that I could think of. Unless, unless the wireless, I don't know how wireless charging tech is right now. Unless we can make it so there's, like, two little wireless charging things. And so instead of sticking rods in your ears, you just stick these two wireless things inside. Kind of like earbuds or, like, um the noise Ear canceling earplugs yeah and you just stick those in and they'll wirelessly charge through those and then those you have to charge like airpods you know like so you charge those in the little charging carrying case and then every time you need to charge your headset you just have to wear these things for like two hours as if you're listening to music but no you're just charging your in-ear earbuds I, I don't even know what they'll be called in-ear speakers Fuck it. We'll we'll do some kind of charge like that or um that I mean how else would you do it besides yeah, wearing I'm a trying helmet to think if you can that's just frying your brain with waves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that's not completely ridiculous or makes you feel like a fucking dork, you know? <laughs> like yeah. you, you don't want a wireless charging pillow and you just stuff all your electronics in it, including like and then you put it on top of your head. So <laughs> or because people are gonna mess with you if it's mag safe. Like I know I would. Like I'd put somebody uh my charger up to somebody's head and ding. Ding, ding, you know, so we'd want to avoid that. Yeah. Or like me putting my um case up to their ear and it's like, well, it's ding, definitely not like, going to be max safe. It's going to use the other right. wireless charging tech or whatever it is. But yeah, I don't know. Until tech gets better and there's a better way to charge it, it's either the rods with the okay, touches. Okay, how about this? I actually got it. All right. You're going to have to do it. I, I Okay, you can do the charging like that, or it's going to be like a motherfucking Rolex, where as you walk and move, Jeez. the movements slowly charge it. 
But if you're a sedentary human being, you're wearing that headband, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell I mean, you. I would love that to happen. But the reason why Rolexes work like that is because it's gear based. <laughs> There's no gears in this thing. It's just electronics. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Rolex is just like that because it's a it's a engineering genius feat. Uh, but yeah, I tech is just not there yet. We're just trying to make a product where tech isn't there. If you want to be in the forefront of tech, of, of modding your body, put a chip in me. This is what you have to do. You know what I mean? You know, there's early adopters are early adopters for a reason, Jay. Yeah. And then later on a new, like 10 years from now, a new tech comes in where you don't even have to put anything in your ear surgically. So there's going to be a whole swath of people that have, little cuts incisions inside their ears like little scars that are there and um i mean no one can see them it's not like kids could be like why do you have these little scars inside your ears but you know they're there what whatever happened to um the people who did plugs and stretched their ears and the people said because i haven't seen anybody like that but everyone used to talk shit and say that uh you could never get your ear back to normal they don't they did- don't go back to normal <laughs> The, I haven't seen anybody with it. Did, did it really not go back to normal? No, I know a bunch of people who had gauges when they were younger. And so now it's just like loose lobe and they'll like, uh, they'll still put like normal earrings on. Um, or sometimes they'll like do something fun and like put something else through there. But most of the time I, when I see like 30 mid thirties to 40 year old, uh, dudes and gals that had gauged ears, like I'm talking like double O's. Yeah, they just leave them hanging and they're just like they're just like extra lobes that are just hanging from their other lobe. Um Dang. Which is like a look. I think it actually looks kind of cool. It it reminds me of, you know, uh the the sky thunder god. What's his name? It starts with the E. Ineru from One Piece. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he had those too. He had the non-gauged gauged ears. Um Yeah, he did. Yeah. But I mean Tesla, I guess. Apple. Yeah, Apple we gotta find something it. cultish like Tesla, yeah. Apple. People who would follow uh, App- the person that does it, right? Yeah, and then I guess that would be the first step for Tesla for the um, brain link. Right, but I guess maybe even Apple because Apple always has like crazy ideas that always have the first time adopters where it's like, this is obviously not gonna be a good product at first. But there's <laughs> millions of people that buy it anyway. We just need you to give us the money right now. Yeah. Like when the Apple Watch first came out, it was like $5,000 or something ridiculous like that. Remember that? It was like something ridiculous. I I don't, but I kind of do that it was ridiculous because I have an Apple Watch now. And whenever like I was suggested to get one, I was like, I don't want to spend $900 on a fucking watch. And they're like, it's like $200, $300 now. I'm like, really? Good. (laughs) Like I was like, this is ridiculous. Well, the very first Apple Watch, if you remember, they had a uh, collaboration with Cartier, I think, is what it was. And they had had the regular version, which was like a thousand bucks. They had the upgrade version with the ceramic or... They had the business class, which was like 24 karat gold. It was like a $50,000 watch. And like oh, all the celebrities got that one. And the first Apple Watch, if you ever had it or used it, uh, I had it hand me down first gen Apple Watch. They were shit. They were really bad. Very, very slow. You couldn't even like open messages. By the time the messages opened, you could have opened it up on your phone and responded and they could have responded and you responded to that. Like that's how slow the Apple Watch was. Uh, All that being said, I guess Apple, Tesla, make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, free, free. Feel, bleh, bleh, feel, 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 feel free to write in at appoundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the AppPound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen. It's your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's triangular idea. We're getting into shape toys. Like for kinks? 
For kids or adults? I said for kinks. <laughs> for kinks? Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> what shape fits in the human body orifice the best? <laughs> Find Trying out next week. Where? <laughs> I think rectangle, actually. Cylinder? What's the one that's like, it's like flat at top, but longer at the bottom? The pyramid? No, it doesn't have a... Sh- that's a triangle, Alex. The one with the pyramid with the <laughs> pointy tip cut off. The trapezoid? Trapezoid. Trapezoid toys. Stick that right up there. Stick the pointy bit first. <laughs> well, sir, why did you put something in your body that had so many edges? 